What's up, YouTube? Minecraft Go here. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a uh, craft bucket Minecraft beta 1.7 underscore 01 server and for all the 1.7 up, uh, updates. Um, so, the first thing I'm going to do is make a new folder. You can name it bucket uh, server. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure it has a name, obviously. Um, and then you're going to open up your internet browser, whichever one you have. Uh, let it load. My computer just restarted, so it's going to be very slow. And you're going to go to the first link in the description, ci.bucket.org. And you're going to click dev-craftbucket. And then you're going to download um, build a 950, or the latest recommend build for 1.7. You'll know if it's recommended, if it has a star, and it'll say compatible with minecraft beta 1.7 underscore 01 or if not just uploads a new one then you'll click that um for er, then you're gonna click this craft bucket yada yada dot jar and it's gonna download a 7.3 megabyte file even though it says 6.9 here see 7.3 and close out as safari and I'm gonna drag and drop that in there and double click this open and it's going to download um, all these files alright we're good so now we're just gonna rename this to craftbucket.jar alright um... <clears throat> one second I have to get the codes for my other video but this will be uh, in the in this video in the description Again, just retarded, so it's very slow. What's up, YouTube? My hey, name there's my voice. Here, and today I'm going it. to show you how to make a. <sighs> um, right there we go. So we're going to download the start command all this to show you that I'm actually going to copy it cuz I know some YouTubers will actually fake copy and put another code I don't know why but they just do this and alright so I'm gonna show you the first error you're gonna get if you don't do this correctly actually no I'll do it correctly first so go to applications and find text edit and you paste the or actually no first you wanna make this format make plain text or it's not gonna work Everyone on my last video didn't use the, the terminal code to drag and drop this in or do this and they were having so much problems and I had to answer at least a hundred questions with the same exact thing and they didn't even bother to read the other comments so please do this. Save <clears throat> and it's gonna save it as a unicode uh, utf-8 so, dot command command Oh, and you're gonna name this start dot command. Sorry, save and use dot command. All right, <clears throat> close out of this. Um, all right, so save to the desktop. But now, watch what happens when I uh, don't make it. When I don't format, it. paste it in and file, save as start dot command. Then see, it's gonna save as a uh, RTF. And it's say you have to do this, use RTF. And if you try using both, it's not gonna work. So I'm all, and so when we double click it, it just opens it. And you're not supposed to double click it in the first place. If we open up terminal, you can search it in the spotlight spot um and you're gonna use the how to access it. A how to um access it, drag and drop it in, click enter, and uh, <clears throat> but it's like not gonna work. It won't let you do it. So we'll just delete this. But so this is the one we want to use. Um, and now here's the other error. Like half the people got, they double click start dot command and said so the file start command could not be executed, but because you do not have the appropriate privileges, and everyone kept forgetting to do this, and I was getting really mad because I had to answer every one. Ch mod a plus x space. Then you drag and drop. 
This is in the description. It's very important. Click enter. And boom. It actually works. So now, we're going to go, if we double click it, you'll see it's actually going to start doing the code. But I haven't done anything to serve it properties, so we're going to get some errors. Oh, and can't even stop it. Let's so close out that. And when you go into your server properties, you'll know something new from 1.5. Um, it's it's been in 1.6. It's the allow nether. So to get the server, and all these I went over in my last video, like you can figure them out yourself. Except the whitelist is if you want certain people to join, you have to click. You make this true, and if you, if it's false, you make it true. If it's true, you make it false. If you want, um, you have to go in whitelist and enter your name, their name, whoever you want's in there. Um, and Hell World is if you want, like, your regular world, um, where is it? Huh. Oh, it's not there anymore. Okay, I guess he removed that in 1.7. He removed Hell World in 1.7, I believe. Unless I'm blind and it's right in front of me. Um, so it's a server IP. You go in here, for Mac, you type in IP, uh, IP, or sorry, IF config, and you're gonna get a bunch of this. For Windows, you type in IP config, but for Mac, we're using IF config. And you're gonna look for inet. It uh, should be the second kind of tab part, um, right under inet six and right over ether. And you're gonna down. Oops, see. Uh, you're gonna copy this part. This is your in or uh, yes, your internal IP, I believe. And copy this now. Paste it into your server IP, Apple S, and close out. You can close out terminal two. And um, I'll go over every little thing here. Band IPS is your or, or band IPs is actually how it is. Um, is if you ban someone in Minecraft, their IP goes in here. Uh, band players, um, band players of course. Ops. So say if you want to be able to teleport and use all the commands, you have to op yourself just like the regular Minecraft servers. Um, unless you get plugins like permissions or essentials or group manager, then ops really doesn't matter. But it still does in some ways. Um, that's pretty much all that is. And here's your worlds. And so now, if we double click, start dot command is actually working, and it's gonna spot make every world. Uh, so we're not gonna go through that. If to stop it, you just type in stop. But since it's loading, it won't let me stop it. So I'm, I have to close out of that. All right. So that's how it's working. And when it's done, I actually have one running on my laptop right next to me. Um. Ah. There we go. Um, and you can check my last video that I just made about an hour ago. Um, how to, <clears throat> um, or not how to, but all the stuff in 1.7 that got added. And so you log in. And another change is he stopped using the point six, like in 1.6.6. Um, he made it un again underscore, which I preferred the point six, but so you can connect. And I have about I don't know eight plugins running on this. And so yeah, I'm on a war server. It's the one I made. And um uh, what just happened? I apparently I'm moving way too quickly or something. Uh this is very odd. Okay, well, it's probably because I'm recording. So I'm disconnecting. Um, so there you have it. Um, if you're having a problem, uh, with this, please let me know in the comments, but I will, I probably won't answer most about the, I can't access this, I don't have appropriate privileges. It says use dot RTF. Well, I'm gonna say check the facts, cause you're obviously one, one of the people who just skips through the videos. Um, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe. I really don't care. Um, thank you for watching.